thing for Jordan. Attorney fees, sale, items she has stolen, at checks. Jordan was never daddy's little girl growing up until her drug problem. Now the two of them are inseparable. Even though she has been in and out of rehabs for the past five or six years, her and her father still go to bars and drink together. Jordan has even driven her father home because he was drunk. This girl has no incentive to get clean. If she has got a father who has unlimited access to money, constantly bailing her out and paying for everything. I believe that throughout the years, Jordan has struggled with the relationship with her mom. She's told me she feels though she's not good enough. She can't be perfect enough for her mother. Last night, we had a conversation, and I asked her why she couldn't go straight. And she said, Aunt Mayor, it's just too easy with Dad. It's just too easy. I just want my niece to come back. I know she's in there. She's a great person. She is so sensitive. Her life is being robbed right out from underneath her. And her father's taking that away from her by doing what he's doing to her. Everybody agrees that you're in over your head on this Absolutely. as far as Way over handling over. this just in terms of family support situation? Absolutely. Okay, and you're calling him drug dealer and murderer? Yes, I do. You, you own and endorse that. And and your attempt, you're, you're saying that is to achieve what? What is it you're trying to accomplish? I, I simply call Roger that because it's not Roger's who putting the needle in Jordan's vein, but he won't stop giving her money. Uh -huh. He won't stop enabling her okay. to do her drugs. Okay, and, and do you agree with your sister's characterizations? Yes. Okay. I... Do y'all, I assume, you said you're prepared to follow any advice or, or whatever. So I assume you, you've done your homework about me. You've, you've formed some opinion about whether or not I'm some television quack wackadoo. <laughs> or I actually know what I'm doing. You formed some opinion about that, I assume. We have been told you're the best in the business. Yeah. Um, but I don't always tell people what they want to hear. That's fine. Um, and I'm not going to tell you all what you want to hear, because frankly, I I'm interested in one thing, and that's contributing to saving Jordan's life. And I, I believe this about the three of you, because let's see what we can agree on first, OK? okay. Can we agree on that's the primary goal here? Absolutely. It's not throwing him under the bus yeah. or you under the bus Absolutely. or you for using incendiary language or whatever. Th that's not what we're here for. We're here. Can we agree that we're all of the same mind and same purpose? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Can we agree that she's the one that makes the decision to take drugs? Absolutely. absolutely. She makes that. She didn't make that choice for her. No. You don't make that choice right. for her. You don't make that choice for her. Her right. friends, her peers, the bad crowd. She makes that choice. She's an adult. And by the way, she can tell us to kiss her ass, right? I mean, she's an adult, so we can't compel her to do something unless we have her committed in some way. And depriving people of their liberty in America, as it should be, is a steep hill to climb. So that's difficult, OK? Now, I I'm going to tell you what I think about her, because I have really done a lot of study about her. Because uh, she does have a history, no question about it. Um, and everybody here is doing this and pointing fingers and accusing. That, that does nothing to, to help the situation. We need to deal with what's going on with this girl. She has a multi-dimensional situation going on here. She is a drug addict, right? Yes. No, yes. Nobody disagrees Absolutely. with that. Yeah. And the drugs she's taking are potentially lethal. Yes. Roger, take a look at Jordan's last mugshot. That's your daughter. You haven't been very comfortable in this process, because I look at all the raw footage and stuff. Take a look. So then she got arrested for possession recently, right? Recently? Yeah. She was arrested for possession. Now look. <sighs> what I'm trying to do is get her help without making her look like a three-headed monster. <sighs> you said, I don't want to make my daughter look like a three-headed monster. Uh, she's not. She's sick. She's drug addict, but, but that's, a, that's a sick girl. So can we agree that what's happening right now is not working? Correct, yes. yes. But let me tell you, there's nothing I can do to help her if you continue to do what you've been doing. You are a smart guy. You have to know what you're doing is not 